diamonds, necklace on me decorated. All this got me feeling jaded. Hold up, hold up, I'll be waiting. Bad thing on my radar. Told me that I'm in a playlist. Flower bomb, she a lotus. I be thinking that I'm famous. I remember when I prayed for this. No sleep, cause I'm anxious. All this for entertainment. Crazy thinking that it's day one. All this spinning for the taking. Yeah. Hold it down for the nameless. Hey fairies and welcome back to my channel. It's Larasia Andrea. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a seven by six closure wig. You guys have never heard of this, honestly, because <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> but on a serious note, I'm just kind of tired of doing the frontal. You guys have seen me do a 13 by four or 13 by six frontal, I don't know how many times. So I decided to switch it up and do something different. And that's customizing my own closure. So I just took a 13 by six frontal and just measured the hairline to about seven inches and cut off the excess pieces that I didn't need. Make sure that you guys are leaving that little piece in the back because we're gonna need that to sew on later on. Now we're gonna move on to making the wig and we're just gonna sew that closure together as well as sew in all the bundles from Chambray Hair. I'm gonna be using a spandex dome cap today. I love to use this recently. Never really liked it, but lately it's been a vibe. And I'm just going to place that closure onto the spandex dome cap and also have my little sides hanging because we're gonna need those to sew. And the first thing I'm gonna sew is the back of the frontal and then I will show in detail how to sew on the little flaps. Now, this is the easiest way to create a brand new closure, and that's by sewing on the end tail from the lace that we cut off and connecting that to our new lace. This is gonna act as a guard or more or less like a barrier for when we sew on our bundles later on, and it's also not going to rip the lace from the hairs down the road. Once I get to the elastic band part of the spandex dome cap, that's when I'm just going to cut that end tail off and continue to sew that on to the lace. So as you guys know, me and chambray hair are like BFF sis, okay? I'm using four bundles of their 28 inch Indian wavy. And I'm also gonna be using something new. This is a 28 inch 13 by six Swiss transparent lace. I honestly love chambray's lace. I feel like their lace blends in so good and it always ends up looking HD without even being HD lace sometimes. Now I'm just gonna sew in those bundles and I'm gonna really concentrate the first two bundles really in the middle of the wig. That's where I want the most fullness to really show is the back and the middle of the wig. And once I start to get towards the top, I will start to single out the wefts and sew those on pretty closely until I get all the way up to the top of the lace. Getting close, yeah, I need my space to breathe. That's why I be going ghost. I ain't trying to stay up on that wide road. Cause I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. They thinking I'm bluffing, but I promise I do it. That K got a drum, like murder and booming. We sending you vert, if I get my little Uzi. They thinking I'm crazy, I'm gon' see you the haters. People I'm saying, get what I'm painting. A picture big, I call it little baby. If I'm on the board, then we playing chess. If you on my way, you gon' need a vest. Act big, you might get stretched. All your gun talk, I ain't impressed. My 45 seen real traffic. That's Dallas, Texas. My little partner called a body for a Maserati. He told him get about the car, hit him with the shit. So this is the final look of the wig. It is looking like a whole new closure wig that I bought or just made from a real closure. And now we're gonna move on to customizing this wig. I'm gonna bleach these knots. I'm gonna dye this hair jet black. I have an entire jet black video that I just posted on my channel. Make sure you guys go and check that video out because I show you how to get the blackest, most pitch black hair color that's easy 
even on YouTube. And because this is Indian raw hair, you wanna give a little bit more TLC to this. So I'm gonna take this Ion Smoothing Tonic and spray that when the hair is wet and let it air dry overnight. And this is the next day and I'm just blow drying that dry. When it was about 90% air dried and then I'm going to just show y'all this lace. It is giving scalp on this mannequin girl. This lace looks so realistic. As I said, I cannot keep saying it anymore. I feel like chambray lace is the best lace I have ever used. No matter if it's from its more affordable line or its middle price line or even their more expensive luxury line, which is what this hair is from. Honestly, I just feel like it's a definition of you get what you pay for. If you want something to look so natural and so realistic, you're gonna spend that shacoin, sis. But if you're more on the affordable side, their hair is still bomb. I have a video out on my channel from Fairy Simber, as well as from January using their frontal and bundles from their Oriental line, which is their more affordable line that they have. But I'm just going to continue to pluck and hot comb and straighten this wig until I give y'all a bust down middle part that is just giving scalp, sis. So we are not done. We have to seal everything in using the elastic band method. And I got this elastic band from Amazon. I will make sure I leave all the products down below in the description box. Both of the ends from the elastic band have a similar end cap. So I'm just gonna sew that end cap to the lace as well as the spandex dome cap and just sew all three of those things together until I have both the elastic band sewn. And this is how easy it is and how simple it's going to look. Last thing, I'm just going to sew on two wig combs to the back of the wig so that the elastic band has something to hold on to. My middle one, she's in a dirt bike. My youngest is just like a mama. The mama loves me and I love her so if she wants something that's never about her. So I'm gonna be doing two installs for you guys. One with the bust down mid apart and the other with the crimps, which is super cute for summer and spring. But the first one I'm gonna start with is the straight and I'm gonna take some foundation powder and apply that all inside of the closure. Seal that in with some lace spray and blow dry that dry so that when we put this on our head, we do not get that makeup everywhere. And I'm just going to perfect that middle part and just go down the middle of my head and spray that down with some Sebastian Shaper Spray and then use my hot comb to just lay that middle part down a little bit more. It's one for the dads me dedicate. I'm also going to pluck a little bit more on my hairline. I've been doing this for like the past couple months and I feel like it's like a good added step that I should do because after a while, I feel like it starts to make my hairline look so seamless and natural. And then the last thing is gonna be me cutting the lace. I like to spray a little bit of my Go Glueless Lace Mist. I don't consider that a lace spray. It's just something that is added to making that hairline look a lot more seamless. I wouldn't say it's a holding spray, it's just more or less like a melting spray. Now this is how that hairline is looking. It's not gelled down or glued down or anything. It's just looking so natural and it is glueless. But I am gonna take a little bit of my Eben Wonderlay Spray in Supreme and just spray the sides of the lace. They're kind of sticking up a little bit. I didn't really sew that onto the elastic band because I didn't want a lot of tension on my forehead. So instead I'm just going to 
use that lace spray and spray both of those sides down. And honey, this is what we are given. Friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got right, I got heart, I don't die. So this is the final look that we are giving and I just took my AP Heat 1.5 flat iron and just ran that through for a last finishing touch on my hair. And girl la fairies, this is what we are giving today. It is a bomb ass glueless 7x6 closure wig. And this is just a first style of me showing it straight because I wanted to really showcase how deep and blue black this hair color is. Now we're going to move on to the crimps and the crimper that I'm I'm going to be using today is from hazel waves i do have a coupon code for you guys and it gets really hot and heats up to about 410 degrees the higher the temperature the better but definitely make sure you guys are using some sort of heat protectant and i'm just going to take some spritz gold and spray that on the hair before i crimp it so that the crimps can last all day i've been wearing this wig for about two days now and my crimps are still in they kind of fell a little bit because it was super foggy the other day but even with it being with the bad weather the crimps are still there so after i went ahead and crimped the whole entire wig i'm just going to use my fingers and comb those through the crimps just to separate them a little bit and make it not so uniform and this is how it is looking it looks so bomb and so beautiful y'all and i also decided to create some baby hairs just to switch up the entire look from the straight side and i know i cut them pretty long y'all know i am not the best at baby hair i am trying to get better in better with it it's just not my forte but a lot of people still like baby hair so i'm just still give y'all that look i'm gonna use this small mini babyless flat iron and use that to curl and straighten out those baby hairs And then to just curl those baby hairs in place, I'm gonna take another Go Glueless product. This is their foam gel, and I love to use this for creating my baby hair. And then I'm gonna use this baby hair brush and just kind of swoop there it is, those baby hairs in place, and then just let those air dry. So this is the final look and I just went ahead and did my ball cap off camera. I'm going to be doing a brand new video of me doing my ball cap method. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I just put some foundation on that ball cap and reapplied my wig, laid down those baby hairs. And I ended up using the Sebastian Shaper Spray to do that with. I go down, then I strike. I go hard day and night. Yeah. I go hard day and night, one to one, no surprise, see the hate in they eyes. My brother's butt money bleed, I got the game in the squeeze. What would you do for some green? What would you do for some blues? Go pick and choose, a family the cheese. Some people not built like that, some people get killed like that. Pressure like water, lights, mortgage, I've been at bills like that. Now I got kids like that, no wonder why I feel like that. Some people go to war for nothing. Me, I got a war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. Some people go to so this is coming to the final look and I just wanted to show y'all a close up from when I was just doing extra footage because I was on the phone with my sister. But I wanted to leave this in because girl, I, do y'all see this lace? This is the best lace install I have ever done, okay? And this is not even HD lace. I can't wait to show y'all my new ball cap method because listen, honey, it's the ball caps that you gotta use and I'll give y'all all the tea about those in that video. But this is the final look, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed both of my looks let me know down in the comments if you guys are feeling the straight or you guys are feeling the crimps i don't know man i am feeling the crimps because it is given thank y'all so much for watching make sure you guys thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and turn on a notification bell i love you guys always and bye